What are you doing? I'm sleeping on the back of the chair. Okay, so it's Monday. I'm home. I just had to send Ernie out because he showed up here with basically nothing. You know, like a car. Um, it's gonna be a little late. The Twitch stream should be happening currently right now, but it's not. I grew up in a crazy, like a kind of like a Queens. I'm moving to Long Island, so I was influenced by all this crazy like city shit. Bruce Lee Nikki's. <coughs> cool. Omar. Yeah. Gotta put some shit in the trunk then too, like the gimbals. I just took the camera batteries out. Mm -hmm. Here they are. Keys are upstairs, the batteries are gone. It's late. Trying to uh Ern is clicking on all cylinders today. Oh, we were trying to leave. We're trying to take this dude to go play because he needs to exert some energy. We need to come back. We've got some shoes in the mail. As far as shoes have gone, I've been pretty busy. I got all four of the AI camo NMDs on the way. Yes, I had to pay resale for all of them. No, I did not pay an average of over $500. I paid around $450 average for, for the pairs. You know, some were more expensive because they're coming from the EU, some were not. So, got all four of those, those are on the way. This morning I copped the s, &S uh, sneaker and stuff. What is it, CS2, the back to school pack. Kind of vibrant colors, a little crazy. I honestly don't even know how I feel about those yet, but I copped them anyway. And then let's see, we have the exhibition boot is upstairs. I think we're gonna take a trip tomorrow to where there's some snow and try to actually just like test those out more than just putting them on. Uh, Aniki just came as you saw. And what else is going on? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm waiting for the, the I don't know what they're called, like the AM4 London is what I've been calling it, the the uh, speed factory boost, what have you. Uh, I didn't get that pair. No one's really hit me up about a 13. There were some people that were gonna try and get them for me, but it never happened. So, and it looks like they're dropping them in different places and it's probably gonna be like a larger release as it comes. It's just like the trail out. Hopefully they do a black one because the black one with the iridescent looking straps look cool. We'll see. Um, but yeah, as of now, I don't have those. Xeno Ultra Boost. Not yet. Some people were trying to get me some from New York City, but they were trying to charge me extra, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get a code and build one. I think that release is bigger than previous my Adidas Ultra Boost, so I'm not too worried about it. Um, but I do think it's funny how everyone has hated on <laughs> Ultra Boost 3.0 until people want to, then they want to charge you all these crazy fees for, they want to charge you extra now though for 3.0 and say how hot it is. And same thing with the NMD. The NMD has been dead to people for, you know, six months almost to a year. And now all of a sudden these same people are like, nah, bro, this shoe should be a thousand, man. Like, this is the hot one. I'm like, you're wrong. Uh, but yeah, I've gotten everything that I think has come out that is of interest. Not going to Complex Con. I just pretty much took it off my plate. Way too busy. Way too much shit going on. I need to take the time to catch up and just be home for a little bit. Like, I can't even, I haven't even found the time to clean my apartment. So, yeah, and I got this gym that I joined. I want to make the time to get there. So, starting tomorrow, I'll probably start going there and shooting the hoops. I think that's an update. I think we're good. So, let's take Omar. Twitch this morning, me and Ern played FIFA. It was not amazing thing neither of us know what we're doing that's the beauty of some of this twitch stuff is for me is learning how to play the games and having people witness it i think it's cool but yeah we suck at fifa it's a difficult i don't even really know the rules of soccer omar took him these guys are out in front of this building like what the fuck yeah, they never seen somebody do a U-turn before. Yeah, that's strange. You don't, they're looking at your plates right now. They're like, oh, he's from New York. Don't even worry about it. These fucking city slickers think they can just do whatever they want. Excuse me, son. Can't park there. Yeah, right.
cage is really good. Okay, I'll pay value. Right, Thanks, Ari. Peace. Well, I got the Xeno Ultra Boost. Nice. <laughs> what? What were you saying about Blue Apron? I think it's great. You love it. I Blue love Apron it. tried to sponsor this vlog one time. I know. I you told me. You um, wouldn't want to cook. But you... What? I cook all the time. I know, but it's it's more steps. That's the downside. It's more steps than they make it look. Like, I just know think, how to cook. I know how to cook, too. I know how you to cook. You put sour cream in fucking pancakes. There is a good... You made, you made pancakes with sour cream in them. You mixed it in the purposefully. batter. Purposefully. Yes, purposely like it was gourmet. Not only did you do that, you did that as a move to impress women. Like you were like, and you came and told me about it. You're like, yeah, I made them breakfast. I cooked her and her roommate some pancakes. I talked to her, Brandy, that yeah, is, Brandy. and she says, oh my God. I think she even texted me. She's like, Ern, fuck, you came over and I'd already heard they were shit. And she's like, Ern just made us fucking pancakes and they had sour cream in there, the grossest thing ever. That was the one bad luck I mm. had. Yeah, but Blue Ape, you are the target demographic right now for Blue Aver and they're like at the board meeting and they're just like, okay, what we need to do is we need to target uh, newly married couples <laughs> between the ages of 25 and 35. It's perfect. Yeah. Newly married couples, business savvy, on the go, just want to make that time to eat together because that's how relationships stay strong. Blue Apron. This is not a sponsored post. If y'all get your check, checkbooks out, I can hook it up. Oh, first I got my boy Ernie here co-signing. Would you guys make some homemade banana nut bread crumble? No, we had a... Yeah, let's get the menu. What'd you eat? Grilled cheese we and bacon? We had pork chops. <laughs> no, we had pork chops with uh, some sort of roasted fig thing on it. Mm. Where was I? All right. I also had risotto with broccoli and cheese and a soft boiled egg. With broccoli and cheese and a soft boiled egg. Um, so today's been... What the hell did I do with the box? Okay, so today's been a little crazy, a little clustered. Uh, I have a lot of stuff. I tried to get finished today and I didn't get much of it done, so hopefully I can get some of it done after. But we did get a pair of shoes to take a look at, so we'll take a look at them now, which is the Adidas Aniki. I'm calling it the Bruce Liniki. Some people are calling it the Charlie Brown, the Kill Bill, what have you. Some people call it the Goldenrod. Those people are Adidas. Still sitting on adidas.com which is pretty awesome because this is a great colorway. Probably one of, if not the best Aniki colorway yet. We also got the exhibition boot, but we'll take a look at that tomorrow, hopefully. But Aniki Goldenrod, Bruce Aniki. We've reviewed quite a few Anikis before. This one is really no different other than the color, but we'll show it to you real quick. So if you've never seen an Aniki review, I'll also give you the rundown. But you have basically all mesh and suede upper, black, Crinkle cut craft scissor three stripes. Uh, the laces match the upper with this mustard yellow. There's nothing peppered in. There's a little bit of a color change within the leather patches, suede patches, um, but that's to be expected. And also it looks good. Makes it look two tone. Uh, black, black accents and the heel, black stripes, black trefoil. oil. Uh, no insole on Aniki, so you wanna make sure that you size right because you can't compensate by taking out the insole. For me, true size is okay. Half a size is okay too. Half a size is just a little bit more baggy. So at first, uh, Aniki's in your toe will feel a little shallow and crunched, especially compared to like an NMD or an Ultra Boost. But my true to size is also fine. Like it, it's totally fine. I just feel, you can just feel a little bit more constriction there. Half size up is fine too, but finding a 13 and a half is just a pain in the ass. Yeah, like I said, mesh inline on the inside, not PK. You're not gonna get the same comfort you get from Ultra Boost. Not even really in neat, not even really NMD. It's somewhere around there. Still really comfortable. Super casual shoe, I say. I always call these like a poolside shoe. And then these fall colors that they put out are just, you know, they're just super nice, dog. And dogettes. Uh, regular NMD sole, no continental or anything like that. You got all these little boost windows down here so you can check in on your boost when you want. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's the Aniki. I I love Anikis. I don't know how many pairs this is now. It's gotta be at least like five or six. But um, yeah, these are $120 retail, so price isn't too crazy. Still waiting on the PK Aniki, which should be pretty nice to check out. And also the Neighborhood, was it Neighborhood? Neighborhood Aniki collab. 
think it was neighborhood. Yeah, like I said, if you still want these, they're still sitting on adidas.com, I'm pretty sure. So you can cop. That's what I got for you today, guys. Uh, there's two vlogs that went up today. Check them both out. Just telling you just so you don't miss it. And then I'll see you on Twitch probably tonight and tomorrow. Schedule is on Twitch also, and it's annotated here as well. All right, I'm out. Peace.